What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Honeybee, and welcome to the second episode of T1 TV. Before we get into tonight's show, I want to introduce you all to our special guest host, comedian Johnny Eller. What's up, Johnny? Hey, what's up, Honeybee? What's up, all you beautiful people out there? We're here live and direct at Tommy T's Comedy and Steakhouse, where tonight, the very funny, the very talented Kabir Singh is in the building. He's headlining, I'm hosting. And right after the show, we're going to get a special, exclusive interview with the big guy himself, Kabir Kabizi Singh. We'll see you guys after the show. All right, well, Johnny heads inside to get ready for his interview. I'm going to go mingle at the bar. See you in a bit. <laughs> I uh, just got on vacation with my girlfriend. We ended up getting in this huge fight in the hotel room. She flipped out. She went on level three flip out. Ladies, you know what that is? Yeah, you do. Yelling, crying, throwing shit. <laughs> She got super dramatic, right? She got super dramatic, right? She just started crying and shit. She's like, I'm gonna jump out the window. Yeah, I'm gonna jump out the window because the way you make me feel. So I'm like, God damn it. I run downstairs and wake up the manager. I'm like, hey man, wake up. Me and my girlfriend just got in this huge fight. He's like, that's not my problem. I was like, look man, I don't think you get it. She wants to jump out the window. She's trying to kill herself. I need your help. He's like, that's not my problem. I was like, it is your problem. The window is stuck. <laughs> you need to go up there and fix that shit. <laughs> How y'all doing? We out here at Tommy T's Pleasanton where Kabir Singh just headlined, just got off stage right now. We got a couple questions for you. So what motivated you to get into stand-up comedy? What motivated me? I think it was just mostly uh, my friends. You know, I was in high school. I was always the funniest guy in class at the parties and my friends were saying, man, you got to do something with this. I wasn't really guided well. Then I found out another friend of mine, Sammy Obeyed, who you know. Yes, sir. Yeah, he was doing stand-up uh, a year before he approached me. He's like, yo, man, I've been doing stand-up. It's going to go good come hang out, and then I kind of learned the craft with him. Jumped in his car, did the open mics, and then five years later, we're here, man, got really addicted to it. <laughs> That's awesome, and you're killing it. So, Kabir, how long do you think it took you to perfect your craft? Like, how long right. do you think it took till you found yeah. your niche and your rhythm and your flow on stage? I think I learned uh, relatively fast compared to um, most comics. I think it would took, uh, I think I started doing really well at the six to seven month mark. That's when I realized the kind of comic I want to be. I want to be, you know, uh, somebody that does set up punch fast, fast, fast speed. Because there's a lot of comics that do bits and stories. I realized I didn't want to be that. I wanted to speed it up, bang out jokes, boom, 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 boom. And, um, you know, I was definitely wanted to be closer to an urban comic and then just kind of mold myself as, you know, some of those comics I looked up to, like, uh, you know, like Dave Chappelle and all those guys. Willie Bersena, who's really funny, too. So what happened is, I think about the eight-month mark is when I realized how I wanted to craft myself and what direction I wanted to go into. Yeah, that's awesome. It's definitely working out for you, man. Hey, man, thank you. Kabir, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us tonight, man. We really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Is there anything else you want to tell the folks back home? Yeah, I just want to say, man, uh, thank you so much for interviewing me. Uh, also, check me out on uh, Kabir Comedy. Uh, actually, KabirSing.com, K-A-B-I-R, KabirSing.com. You know, add me on Facebook. It's all on the website, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon, man. Thank you so much. Absolutely, man. Thanks again, brother. We hope to see you soon. My mom's crazy, man. She just uh, she just learned how to start text messaging people. Worst thing ever. <laughs> My mom text messages me the most useless text messages in the history of text messages. I got one from her the other day. I swear to God, the Zula said verbatim. I whipped it out and said, Oh my God, the remote is not working. It goes on. I think it is broken. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I come home like, Mom, why would you send this after never mind? <laughs> why does your text messages have Indian accents? <laughs> All right, that about wraps it up for this episode of T1 TV. Special thanks to Tommy T's in Pleasanton, as well as our special guest host, comedian Johnny Eller. And a very special thanks to the very funny comedian Kabir Kabizi Singh for our interview. I'm Honeybee, and remember, hold your head high and your dreams higher. <laughs>